So it's uh, yet another evening with the BMW 540i X-Drive G30 generation. And um, uh, let's uh, try it out. I want to try the different suspension settings to see if it's a difference between Sport Plus and Adaptive, for example. And honestly, it feels like this is a lot lighter than the F10. It just feels so much fun. Just hear that screaming six cylinder. Uh, it's really addictive to rev this out. We can do a little launch control here and see. Hear some sound. And we need to have a dynamic mode in partly disabled. There. Just hear that six in the scream. I like that the power increases up in the revs. It feels like that. I don't know if it is like that, but it surely does not feel like uh, like the torque and power drops off at higher RPMs. Let's try, try adaptive mode now. Honestly, it feels, I think I have a feeling that Sport Plus is only Sport Plus. It's much, much more sporty than adaptive. And um, adaptive is more suited for uh, like autobahn, fast autobahn cruising. But I believe the M Sport package with the larger brakes does a lot to this car. I haven't... Uh, let's do a launch. Oh! You could do launch in uh, when you have the uh, suspension in adaptive mode. Uh, apparently it doesn't matter uh, for... Uh, the suspension setting doesn't matter for what type of launch control you do, uh, which makes sense, but it depends. I believe maybe the harder the setting, the better the launch would be. I don't know. But the instruction manual state that you could even get a better launch with DSC completely off instead of uh, just Sport Plus. in adaptive mode. <clears throat> right there didn't feel a difference between the two modes. Um, suspension modes. But, uh, Let's see about that uh, later on. Um, thing is, you almost should take this out on a track to really push it really hard. But I really like the engine characteristics. I was thinking like a 540 without the V8, uh, but um, 
this one, it's a nice engine. So I have DC on now, but it's somewhat disabled. Still so high revving. fast automatic gearbox. It doesn't have the double clutch just at the shift moment, uh, but um, uh, still super fast. It's almost that you doesn't miss a double clutch, but double clutch is always double clutch. I'm always using the shift buttons. It's you want to have a choice there. Still fun, small little roads. The bad thing with ste uh, he uh, steering wheel heating is that it's so warm, so it's uh, kind of uh, it affects the, the feeling in the steering wheel. When it's too warm, it's, uh, you don't have the same feel as when you have a, um, like a normal temperature steering wheel, I would say. Nice characteristics.